Welcome to Radioactive Pancakes, and this is an episode with John, um, with Scrap Mechanic today. So, um, what you're looking at is my, uh, third truck that I've made of the style, and as you can see, uh, in the distance, just so you know, UFO is partially disassembled so that it is not affecting the frame rate too much at least. Um, just, just pretty much remove those um, proximity sensors um, so that we could do this video without any lag or problems. So, um, very similar to the trucks I've made already. Um, it is wider by two blocks, so basically off center, one on each side. Uh, so it's wider. I did a little bit different thing with the headlights, and I wanted to make um, a crew cab. I wanted to make like an actual pickup truck with bed and all that stuff. Um, I had made one previously that was a single cab early on in another world, uh, but thanks to my Sky City, uh, as I call it, that was floating around in space, it fell to the earth, uh, to the ground, and completely screwed up my game. So. Um, the frame rate on that thing was like one or two frames per second. So it was, there's so much debris to try to remove that I just gave up. So I did lose my first pick up there and my, um, my shop and everything, which I'm in the process of building some new stuff. Uh, but here is a crew cab pickup. Um, I'd like to think it's kind of like a three quarter ton. You know, it's, it's a little bigger than a half ton truck, I would say. Uh, but I just, just did a few extra things here, so it's got a little more suspension. Um, I'd say it sits a little higher, and um, obviously this truck is where I got the idea for the heavy-duty mirrors that I end up updating these trucks on, which you saw in the uh, last episode with the UFO, with the update at the end. And um, so did that. Um, I've got kind of like a grill guard kind of thing going on. Uh, with some off-road lights uh, built into it. thought that was pretty cool. Um, just like the other trucks, I do have an, a hood that opens with the engine exposed. I can get up here. Um, very similar to those trucks, so nothing too crazy special here. Um, but just overall, it's a, just a good total package, I think. Um, so, let's close this thing. And so the other thing I did was instead of using the proximity sensors on the doors for this truck I just did one switch for it because uh, when you're off-roading and you're driving around uh, a lot of times uh, with those other trucks with the proximity sensors you end up getting too close to something and your doors are just opening randomly which is <laughs> um, a problem sometimes because it'll cause you to flip over or get stuck on something so uh, here we go we'll open all four doors um, just the right angle, so you can see four people in here, which is cool. Um, I do have a, a tailgate that opens as well. Oh, that's the hood. Fail. Um, oh, shoot. Crap. My new bumper messed the tailgate up. Didn't even think about that. I'll have to fix that. Yeah, I, I designed the tailgate and put that in before I thought of that uh, bumper setup, so definitely fix that at some point here uh, but I thought I would show you guys this truck and take it out here it's pretty quick and uh, one major difference between this one and the other trucks is that I intentionally tried to use as little um, heavy metal as possible um, I try to use all wood or um, the striped material that they give you so that this thing weighs a lot less I didn't want it to be crazy heavy. Um, learned my lesson on that stuff. So, it is lighter than those trucks by a lot, I'm pretty sure. Because these two engines make it go pretty quickly. And, I mean, I do have some metal stuff like the mirrors and um, the step bars and the, the grill guard and the hood and the bumper and all that stuff. But this is enough that it's still very functional and not too heavy. Because the heavier the vehicle is, the more glitching you have, and the more processing power it takes to drop it around. Whoa! 
Oh, holy crap. That's pretty quick. Let's <laughs> get this thing up a hill. It'd be pretty cool to have a, uh, an online session and get four people in this truck and go off roading. That'd be pretty neat. Oh no! Hey, those mirrors help balance it, keep it from falling over. That's a secondary win right there. Give this another shot. <laughs> Close the doors. Alright, let's see if we can stay on the path. This truck's pretty wide, so... It is a challenge. And then when you're spinning, trying to get up the hill, uh, it makes you go off a little bit. Oh, no! Oh, I can't make the turn. Come on, come on. You got the power, I know you do. Let's do it. Oh, oh, I'm gonna flip it. Come on. This truck is a little bit big for this. Oh! That's what I was going to get. Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. Just kind of a, a lookout point here. Whee! Oh, come on, flip it, flip it. There we go. This thing does pretty well. I'm impressed. I think the wider stance, um, going with the two block wider body and everything, it definitely helps the uh, stability versus the other trucks, because I can definitely flip those other trucks pretty easy, going at a much lower speed. Yeah, I like this truck. It definitely works for what I was hoping it could do. And the good thing is, it looks like when you hit the mirrors on a tree, it doesn't just stop you straight. Um, the bearing actually allows it to give and slide through. Moving now. i jump this thing here. Let's see how it does. Bam! Heck yeah! Not surprised it landed on its uh, top then. Oh, you know what? I never put the other side on here. Oh, now yeah, I did. I was glitching. I must be seeing things. I swear I didn't see the step bar when I walked around the first time. Alright. Close the doors. It'd be kind of neat if they had like a winch in this game. Spiraled. It's like a football coming over that hill. I think I was bragging, bragging on this truck too soon. Flipped it a bunch of times now. sort of 
non-stop out of control feeling, but you know, it's manageable. That's that's the important part. to home. Let's drive the doors open. There we go. Oh, there's my home. I see it now. Made it back. Didn't get trapped in the vehicle. Nothing too crazy. I hate it when you're building a vehicle and you get trapped inside. And then you end up having to like break it apart just to get out of it. When it's upside down, I've had that happen before. The UFO is a great example of that. I've been trapped upside down in that thing. Ah, so there you go. That's my crew cab pickup truck, kind of designed for off-roading. I think it worked overall pretty well. Um, I'd say that I've had a way more unstable vehicles than this. Hope you like it. Let me know. Uh, comment below. Tell me if you like this truck better, if you like the other trucks better. Uh, tell me what you like about it, or dislike, whichever. Um, hit like if you like this video, and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, I definitely like making these pickups. I will be making some different things, um, like UFO, kind of doing some one-offs. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. 